Hyaluronic acid injections, also called viscosupplementation, have both anti-inflammatory and pain-relieving properties. They work really well to treat symptoms related to knee arthritis, but do they work for the shoulder? I'm going to review some of the latest clinical trial data to see whether hyaluronic acid injections can help relieve pain related to the rotator cuff. Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Peng here. My goal is to help each and every one of you live an active and healthy lifestyle. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing to my channel. Rotator cuff disorders are among the most common causes of shoulder pain. They contribute significantly to pain, loss of function, and decreased quality of life. And patients who have severe or persistent symptoms are often advised to get a cortisone injection. Injection. Cortisone is a steroid. It has really strong pain relieving properties as well as anti-inflammatory effects. But more recent studies are showing potential side effects of corticosteroid injections. This is why we are looking for alternate options. And one of these options is hyaluronic acid injections. We know hyaluronic acid can help to treat symptomatic knee osteoarthritis. And this is because they have viscoelastic and anti-inflammatory properties. But do they work for rotator cuff disorders and shoulder pain? This study was a systematic review and meta-analysis looking to answer that question. They aggregated a total of nine studies with the hopes of evaluating the efficacy and safety of hyaluronic acid injections in the treatment of patients with rotator cuff disorders. Control groups from these studies included normal saline control injections, physical therapy, steroid injections, and oral anti-inflammatory pain medications. Let's take a look at their results. In terms of pain, the authors found that patients treated with hyaluronic acid had significantly improved pain scores at one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, and three months. However, the differences between hyaluronic acid and controls were not significant at six months. And what about functional activity? Of the studies that reported functional improvement using the constant score, the hyaluronic acid groups had significantly better scores at two weeks, three months, and six months. The authors go on to conclude that hyaluronic acid can be effective in treating patients with rotator cuff disorders. So at first glance, it seems like hyaluronic acid injections can be beneficial. Pain can be improved for at least three months and functional scores for at least six months. But this systematic review had controls that included physical therapy and oral pain medications. So here's the next question we want to ask. Is there a study comparing the effectiveness of various types of injections with each other? And that's what this study did. This is a systematic review and meta-analysis comparing corticosteroid injections, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug injections, hyaluronic acid injections, platelet-rich plasma injections, and prolotherapy. They included 18 clinical trials in their head-to-head -head analysis. The authors found that regarding pain reduction, corticosteroid injections were better in the short term, which they defined as between three to six weeks post-injection. However, the effects of corticosteroids were short-lived. Prolotherapy actually provided the best pain relief in the long term, with the long term being defined as six months. In terms of functional improvement, platelet-rich plasma was the best injection with the most improvement seen at six months. And what about hyaluronic acid injections? Well, according to the results from this study, hyaluronic acid had limited effects in terms of pain reduction and functional improvement in both the short and long term. So what can we conclude from these results? 
Well, it seems like we are getting mixed results on whether hyaluronic acid injections actually provide pain relief and functional improvement. But this is consistent with many of the other injections. In another video, I reviewed whether platelet-rich plasma injections can help treat symptoms related to the rotator cuff. And even in those studies, PRP was also getting mixed results. We are seeing the same thing for hyaluronic acid injections. And because we're getting mixed results, we need more data and we need more clinical trials. Until then, what is clear is that corticosteroid injections work to treat symptoms related to the rotator cuff in the short term, but these effects wear off after about six weeks. We're also learning more and more about the potential side effects of steroid injections, especially when they are administered without ultrasound guidance. For those people who are concerned about the side effects of steroid injections, hyaluronic acid injections, platelet-rich plasma injections, and prolotherapy seem like options that may be worth trying, especially if someone is trying to avoid surgery. And if you're interested in learning more about some of these injections, check out these videos next. Thanks for watching.